Look what came in the mail today. My Commodore 64 Mini. So we're going to do three things. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to do... We're going to open this up and look inside if we're able to. And we're going to check out some games. So let's go downstairs to the Commodore room. I don't know anybody else that owns more Commodore 64 stuff than me that can review this. So let's go downstairs and check this out. I have three rooms full of Commodore 64 items. I think I'm the right person to review this and check this out. If you're new to my channel, this is my Commodore 64. This is one room for my Commodore 64. The test area. Test. I have shelves full of Commodore 64 items. I got boxes and stuff I need to test. Boxes. This is all Commodore 64. Over there is all Commodore 64. Those are all Commodore 64. And then in that room, and the other room is all Commodore 64 stuff. So, I know a little bit about a Commodore 64. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll check out this box. The world's best selling computer. From what I know, there was almost 30 million Commodore 64s sold. 64 games included. Then you see adapter. Not included. Well, hmm, how are we going to power this? Is this just a USB power? Let's look at the side. Look at the other side. Same game, fu save game function, that's cool. You can plug in a USB keyboard. There's we know this keyboard's just fake. It doesn't really work. And here are some games. Let's see. Boulder Dash is good. California Games was great. Impossible Mission 1 I like better than the second one. Jumpman is a great game. I like the original Pit Stop better. Summer Games. Winter Games. Basic. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. Look at that, that's a nice little box here. Well, we open this up and we get our first look. All I gotta say is, look how cute that sucker is. Here's my hand. There's the joystick. All right, let's get in here and open this up. In the back, we have power in, HDMI, two USB port, power button, nothing on that side. Can we open it? Let's look underneath there and see if there's um, any screws underneath. All right, I need a little screwdriver. Okay, let's see how we can open this. There we go. We have the inside of the Commodore 64 Mini. So this just goes to the light up up here. Not much in here. There's a little plug over here for something. Do you think? I think we need to take this off now. All right, we got the four screws off. Let's see what happens. Let's turn it over. There we go. What are these things? Is that just weight? There's just lead weights in here. Oh, interesting. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna uh, zoom in here, and you can check this out. Some games. 
post in the comments below what were some of your favorite Commodore 64 games. A real Commodore 64. It's a nice little, a nice little heat sink here on the back of this. All right, let's put it back together and find something to plug this into. All right, because I have a real Commodore 64 set up here, let's compare the two. There you go. There's the original. There's the mini. Of course, these keys don't work like these keys do. Alright, let's get out the joystick. It's a USB. It's a pretty nice joystick. And also we have two cables, a manual, and a little flyer. It's a quick guide. We have basically four pages in English. And that's about it. I don't think there's really much to know here. We'll plug it in, the USB. We gotta plug it in at HDMI. So I gotta go I gotta go set that up. Alright, so okay, so I had to move upstairs to a bigger TV. So now we have it on a 55 inch TV. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we have sound. that loads quicker than the 1541 hard drive, right? Oh, that's touchy. Oh yeah. Those controls are really touchy here. I'm out of control. I'm out of control. Virtual keyboard over here at the side. Don't think we need that. Change the game. They got a lot of Epic's title here. That's nice. Hey, Spin Dizzy. That's a fun game.
Oh, uh, there's why I like the original Impossible Mission. I don't know why. Probably because I, I own the original Impossible Mission. I never owned the original Impossible Mission, Mission 2 back in the day. This game is pretty fun. Whoa, what's going on? I think I need a manual for this game here. I just killed. I forget how to um, use my sword. Favor is surfing. Wipe out. Hey, did anybody have breakdowns? Why did that seem like a cool game back in 1984? Uh, yeah. Balderdash, that's always fun. It was cool that in winter games you could bypass that opening ceremony. Ski jump, that was my favorite in this game. So, post in the comments below, do you think there'll be any hacks? Yeah, any hacks for the 64 Mini? Add more games? That'd be really cool. If there is, I'll make another video for that. Alright. Post in the comments if you'd like to see me demo anything else on the Commodore 64 Mini. I shoot. I pass. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot. Oh my god. Post your comments below if you'd like to see me test anything else out on the mini. Is there something you'd like to see on the mini? And let's hope there's some cool hacks that got, come out for this. If there is, I will do updated videos. So in conclusion, should you buy a 64 mini? 
simple answer is yes. If you like retro gaming, like I do, if you grew up in this era like I did, you should buy this. This is a lot of fun. Exactly like, why did I buy the NES Classic? Why did I buy the Super Nintendo Classic? Because they're all fun. You need these in your collection? And you need this in your collection. What I'm hoping, like I said, is that some kind of hack comes out for this. Here's my 1541 Optima 2. There's over 10,000 games in here. Over 10,000 games. And it's on one little SD mini card right here. So maybe something like that will be hacked into something like this. How cool would that be? Anyways. That is it. Post your comments below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I need your support. And I love to hear your comments. I reply to all comments. So thank you for your time. If you watch this whole video, and you deserve a thumbs up. Alright, thank you for watching. Subscribe.